morning, fellow white shavers. Lee right here, no man shaves back with another shaving video. How is everybody today? This is Thursday, June 20th, but by the time this gets uploaded, it will be Friday. So, I hope everybody has a fantastic weekend, and I hope you all had a great week. Now, getting to the shave, I going with the DE, I wanted it to be kind of on the quick side. Plus, I wanted to get a little bit close because the missus and I are going out tomorrow night after work. So, I just want to get as close as possible. What might... I'd be using, you might be asking, well, going with this guy. This is Mammoth Soap's Funny Valentine. Um, I've used this once before. This was a gift from a very, very good friend of mine. Um, I didn't have the greatest of shades with it, so I thought I would try it again. What the hell, why not? Plus, the scent is sort of growing on me. I'm still not into flowery scents, but it's kind of growing on me. But once again, scents are just, your mileage may vary, right? What am I using? So going with the Rockwell, but I have that Kai blade in here, so I wanted to see how it feels. This will be the third shave on this Kai blade. Uh, so if you don't believe me. Oh, plate four. There it is. So there's two marks on the Kai blade. These have no brand marking at all on them. So far I've used this twice in the um, car of open comb. Beautiful, beautiful shaves. Don't move and then brush going with my 26 millimeter um west coast shaving brush i i really really do like this brush so we're gonna go with cold water so let me put some cold water in this um brush and we'll get loading So you guys know in the um, Facebook group, it's just, oh, hold on. Let me put this blue water on my face before I get loading. <laughs> so, this is about two days of growth. My last shave was in the Facebook group. <clears throat> I did a live shave on um, Tuesday morning, I think it was. But uh, it was fun. But having said that, so last night there was a um, live shave in the group with Stephen Davidson and Tim Scholl. Uh, both of them have YouTube channels. If I remember, I'll put their links down in the description um, but they're both got some pretty cool channels I like them both uh, and I do watch them both but uh, Tim made a comment so the subject of Osage rub came up right and you guys know I'm a menthead. head I do love me some menthol in my soaps and splashes but he made a comment saying or I had posted a comment saying Osage rub is life it's good stuff but Tim had meant, made the comment saying that um, I'm a sebum guy, which is true. I do like the sebum. And it's really strange. As much as I do miss and love the menthol, that sebum is just that much better. But um, I, I, I do miss my menthol. That's why menthol soaps just are not going anywhere. So here I am just loading this bad boy up. Really, really, really nice and heavy. I want to make sure I have more soap this time. I'm not sure I had enough last time. I mean, it's nice and creamy. It's beautiful. Look at this. Hold on. Look at that. It's all peaky already. I don't hope that's enough. All right. Let's get it off. Shit. Let's get this goodness off of here. I've got a feeling with this soap in my water. I shouldn't add too much water to it. So I think last time it just, I put too much water and I think um, it lost some of the slickness. I got, I got some messed up water. There's that. Turn my hands off a little bit. The 
Yep. I do apologize. I am pretty far behind in YouTube videos. It's just been one of those past couple of weeks. I've just been too busy and haven't had a chance to really take some time out of my day to watch videos. It sucks. Ooh, but the cold not feels good. Drop, 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 drop. I'm looking forward to see how this Kai works in this razor. It's a nice thick lather. Maybe a little bit more water? What do you think? Yeah, I can put some more water in there. Ooh, lost the hair. So, I can't remember if I, I don't know if I've mentioned it here or just the Facebook group, but uh, I'm starting to want to get into honing my own razors. So, uh, I've been doing some research in that. <laughs> Talk about another rabbit hole. Oh, son of a gun. There's a lot to learn. A lot. But, so, so I've been kind of focused. I've been chatting quite a bit with Steven about um, different hones and best bang for buck type stuff. So I've got we got some synthetics in the list. Yeah. I've got that that onyx stone as a finisher for now, but I'd like to start doing some research on J Nats. You know, being into Japanese swords. We have them Kamasori. It only seems fitting that I get at least one day now. <laughs> so, <clears throat> that'll be no time soon, though. It can be pricey. You know, it's just doing my research and then being in the right place at the right time. Nice. Jeez, I swear these kite blades were made just for me. Kind of funny how I prefer the Kai blades in my Komasori too over the feathers. Kai's I can just run with and right, just load it and then shave. But the the feathers like I, I think they work better if I cork them. This shave is definitely going a lot better than the last time I used this soap. Good. You know, that's something, you know, there was, um, I think it was, um, Ken Serfs brought up the point about some people don't like it when you try a product new on camera for the first time, you know? And I'm like, well, who cares, you know? 
It's like, and I agree, it's not, you can use it the first time on camera, that's not a big deal. And it's also not fair to judge it by your first use. Any soap, any soap, any brush, any razor, you know. You gotta give it a few shades before, before you decide if you like it or not. Like in my first days, I felt like there wasn't a lot of slickness to this soap. This time it's better. You know, I've gotten comments before about telling me to try distilled water, but you know, Honestly, there are way too many soaps out there I don't feel like you need to bloom or bloom I'm sorry I don't feel like you need to just go to all these extremes of using water from Iceland or glacial water or whatever just to get the damn stuff to lather. Hell with that. You know? Some of these soaps are not cheap. So I feel like they should lather anywhere. But that's just a personal opinion. I mean, I've had plenty of soaps that didn't lather. Um, I've tried them multiple times. You know, a couple I've passed on to others to see if they have better luck. I mean, I sent one soap out to a good buddy. See if he liked it. I think he's keeping it. <laughs> it's alright. I don't care. Like most of you all, I have more soap than I could use in a lifetime. Let's see here. And this up, that's not pretty nice. But I feel this is the second time using it. I feel there's something going on with this thickness. But, um, I think that's my water. It sucks. I mean, this is one of those soaps that just, it sells out that, that quick, right? I think they'll, like, within a minute, they're all sold out. I like... like that they donate to charity they um donate to stop hu stop human trafficking which is freaking commendable i really like that same thing with murphy and mcneil i haven't used their soap yet that's on my list they donate to autism which is cool It's another soap I heard great things about. Good protection on this soap though. Really good. 
don't know what to say when uh, wait, where's I'm pushing too hard, I'm not paying attention. I almost tried this blade in my fat boy, but changed my mind at the last minute. Just because um, this razor is so close to the carve. I just wanted to see how it reacted. Reacts well. It's a great blade. Really, really nice blades. Chasing that dragon. Yeah, I felt myself right there. You know, when you have a blade that's so freaking smooth, you just start whipping it around and <laughs> you just lose control. Rips off a little bit here. Quick little recap. This is my West Coast Shaving 26 millimeter silver tip. Great brush. I'm, I'm really loving this brush. I like the handle, I like the way it fills my hand, and I love this knot size. Um, Rockwell 6S plate four with a Kai blade, um, third use. And second use of Funny Valentine's by Mammoth Soaps. So this is the second time that I've used it. Um, once again, slickness not as good as some of the other soaps that I've used, but it's a it's a it's a it's a good soap, and, and you know the scent is starting to starting to um, grow on me a little bit. Um, but I think after two uses, I don't think this is a soap I would use with a straight or my commissari. I would relegate this to de. I think mostly just because of my water. Hey, if you guys think I'm lathering wrong, please. Chime down below and let me know. I'm, I'm far from being an expert. Very far. All right, guys. That's it. I got a couple of little weepers, but that's my fault. The soap has had pretty good, pretty good protection, um, good cushion. But just like I mentioned, for me, slickness is just not quite up there with some other soaps. But I, th I think other people have better luck with it. So it's probably a water thing. Or a skill thing. We'll chalk it up to skill. Alright guys, that's my shave. I pretty much kept it under 20 minutes. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for joining me. Had a few new subscribers, so thank you. I do appreciate it. Please chime in below. As always, you guys know what I want to say. <laughs> Take care everybody and do not text and drive. Bye, bye again.